got blood on your shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. You gonna tell Lil? If it'll help, I'll tell her. You know, Nichols is right. Sometimes you don't know your place. <laughs> I'll tell her, John. I'll tell her. I'll bring the car back in the morning, pick you up for work. I don't want you playing in the house when your father's sleeping. Come on, John. Nobody wants us here. Now, come off it. We're gonna run away from home and join the bad guys. Well, that's fine with me. Just don't go off limits. And report back here every hour. Do you hear me? Johnny, I'm glad I caught you in. It's Lil. Oh, yeah. Hi, Lil. How are you? I, uh... I know you know. Frank told me last night. Lil, it, it's awful. I don't know what to say to you. Yeah, who does? But, uh, there might be a couple of things that you can do. Anything. You know that. I've, uh... I've convinced him to stay home. He's exhausted. Oh, okay, we'll cover for him. But he keeps talking about his retirement papers. Wants to be sure that they're all in order. I'll double check that. And, uh... Of course. Maybe quite a while before it, uh... I mean... Nobody's given up here, Lil. No, of course not. The thing is that I just... I wanted him to spend as much time with the boys and... Yeah. And so I thought maybe for a week or so. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> Listen. What I had in mind was that I remember there was some talk last year about borrowing Marv Pulaski's station wagon and that George Daltrey had a cabin up in the woods. And as I remember it, they were willing to let us use it for a a week or so. All right, now, once more. Marv, your job is to get this thing gassed up, cleaned inside and out, have it in top running order. Pretend that you're a used car salesman with a live one on the lot. You got me? Got it. All right, George, and check the tires, too, all right? George, you and Tosh are going to stock up with enough food to last a man, a wife, and two growing kids for a week. Use the grocery store at 43rd and Cromwell. Marv, you're going to rendezvous with them there at 1800 hours sharp. You guys load up the wagon and meet me at O'Malley's. You got me? Any questions? Hey, come on. Come on. This is a good thing we're doing here. Don't, don't arrive there with these funeral parlor faces. What do you want us to do? Congratulate him? I don't believe it, you know? I just can't believe it. 
Come on, let's get on it. We'll be late for roll call. Hey, Johnny. We all got an assignment. What are you gonna do? What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna eat a whole mess of crow and smile while I'm doing it. Is this room private enough for you, Officer Lucas? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Well? You're supposed to be out on patrol, Lucas. If you got something to say, say it. Sarge, uh, about last night at Oscars, I want to apologize. You do? Yes, sir. You've got every right to want to kick my butt. I, I was out of line, and I know it. The thing I, I keep forgetting is that it, it's, it's tough for everybody. I mean, it's not easy being a cop. You, you can't run the kind of tight ship you run here and be Mr. Nice Guy. Man in your position has to be tough. Tough, but fair. That's what you are. Tough, but fair. That's why we all feel that even when things get tough, we can turn to you for help. I'm all yours, Lucas. Open your arms so I can fall into them. Frank O'Malley's in some trouble, and you can be of help. His wife called him in sick this morning. What's wrong with him? He needs some time off, a week or two. A week or two? He can retire in two weeks. Yeah, he wants to do that, too. Okay, Lucas, that's it. Let's have it all now, please. He's tired. Who isn't? He's sick. How sick? Sarge, what I want you to do... I tell you what I want, not you tell me. What I'm requesting is that you arrange it so that Frank can take off the next two weeks. I, I know it's out of rotation, but with a crude sick leave and a little bit of juggling in 12 days, he can take his 20 years retirement. That's it. That's all I'm asking. No. 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 How long does it take for you donkeys to get it? I don't juggle. I don't walk tight ropes. This ain't a circus. If the books say he's got sick time left, then he's got it. If the books say he has no sick time left, then he doesn't got it. And if he takes sick leave days he's not entitled to, then it's just that many more days till his pension. You're on duty, Lucas. You're supposed to be out in the street, unless you're feeling tired, too. I know I am. You talk to him? Nicholas? Yeah, I told you I did. Look, I don't want to be a pain in the neck, but it's very You're important to me, John. You're not supposed to worry about it. You're just supposed to get yourself a good rest, huh? <laughs> and nobody gets rich in retirement pay, but... it'll hold well together and help the kids' education. But if I cork off in the next 12 days or 11 or whatever it is, it's survivor benefits. Now, that's peanuts, John. You know it. Listen, I have a better chance of corking off than you do. Come on. Honey, we're all set. Let's go. Oh, Listen, thanks, B. You're not supposed to worry about it. I'm in charge here, and I'm going to handle Mother Nichols, Sue. Agreed? Agreed. Get in the car. <laughs> Come on. You're a good friend. Okay, okay. Have a nice time. Bye, Lil. Okay, bye, Jay. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. So long, you. Have a good trip. Come on, Scoopish. Okay. Okay. Big fish. <laughs>